Nominated for Oscars for his performances in Born on the Fourth of July, Jerry Maguire, and Magnolia. Ladies and gentlemen, Tom Cruise. Tonight we are going to take a moment to acknowledge a humanitarian with the Jean Hirschhalt Award. She is an uncommon individual, a singular woman. Her name is Sherry Lansing, and I have had... Uh, <laughs> I've had the good fortune of knowing her my entire career, and I can tell you that she is the very personification of what this significant award represents. Born and raised in Chicago, Sherry came to Hollywood to pursue a career in acting, but she found her true calling behind the scenes. She began as a script reader and story editor, rising in the ranks to become a production executive at Columbia Pictures, where she oversaw a series of highly acclaimed films. In 1980, Sherry made history by becoming the first female president of a major studio. At 20th Century Fox, she put her unique stamp on an ambitious slate of projects, believing that films can not only entertain, but also make you think. Transitioning from executive to independent producer, Sherry brought to the screen such controversial, thought-provoking films as The Accused and Fatal Attraction. In 1992, Sherry was named chairman of Paramount Pictures. There, she enjoyed an unprecedented 12-year run that resulted in a spectrum of critical and box office successes, including the Oscar-winning Best Pictures, Forrest Gump, Braveheart, and Titanic. But for all of her achievements, Sherry always made time to give back to the community. When her mother died of cancer, Sherry co-founded Stop Cancer, one of the many organizations she has supported to fund cancer research. Passionate about education, Sherry sits on the board of Teach for America and established a scholarship fund through the Big Sisters of Los Angeles. She was also appointed a regent to the University of California. Her ongoing work with the American Red Cross and the Carter Center is helping to eradicate childhood diseases around the world. In the area of stem cell research, Sherry joined the California State Board that oversees the distribution of $3 billion in funding. And she is launching a new program called Primetime to place outstanding retirees in volunteer positions. After a legendary 30-year career, Sherry recently left show business to devote herself full-time to her nonprofit foundation. She leaves behind a legacy of classic films, but promises to make an even greater impact through her humanitarian work in the years ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Sherry Lansing. deeply honored and very grateful to receive this award, but I also must admit that it feels a little strange to be singled out. So many of you have causes that you are equally passionate about. That is really what is so wonderful about the movie industry. Not only do we get to make films that matter, but we also work in a culture where we are encouraged to speak out. We may not always agree, but we do always care. Through my work, I have met scientists who struggle every day to find cures for diseases. They do so quietly, without glamor or attention, but always with passion and conviction. I have met school teachers who are battling against insurmountable odds, and yet they never stop trying to reach our children. To me, they are the real heroes. And tonight, I share this honor with all of them. On a personal note, I want to thank my husband, Billy, and our two boys, Cedric and Jack, whose unconditional love gives me the courage to fight every day for what I believe in. 
and a special thank you to the members of the Academy for this extraordinary honor. I promise to spend the rest of my life trying to live up to it. Thank you so much. Thank you.